I love when it's time to film a new book haul video simply because it means I got some new books. So last weekend was our local library used book sale, one of my favorite times of year, and we came away with some pretty decent stuff. A few of the books, if you've been watching my videos for the last month or two, you're going to know why I'm excited. Both of my children found one book each that they really loved, although we still got a little pile of children's books. But some of the ones that I was excited to find, starting with the first three Percy Jackson books. These are soft cover Scholastic Editions. They have a teacher's name, well, they have a name on the inside that starts with Mrs., so I'm assuming a teacher's name. I'm assuming these were on some teacher's shelf for kids to read at school or borrow from their classroom. So, Percy Jackson, the first one came out in 2005. That is the same year that I graduated high school, so I was past the target audience age by that time, and I hadn't really gotten back into reading some of the younger stuff that I missed because I felt like I was too old for it. So these three are books that I have never read. I have heard very good things about them, including that they are a lot of people's first fantasy books that got them into the genre. I have heard that most people start reading them between the ages of like 8 and 12, maybe younger teens. And so I've been kind of keeping my eye out for them just to add to the family bookshelves because I have an eight-year-old <laughs> and a three-year-old who doesn't read yet, but you know, he'll get there. So I mostly bought these for my children, but as a book person, as a fan of the fantasy genre, recognizing the impact that these have had on the modern fantasy genre, I was interested in having them, and when my son is ready to start these, I might start by reading the first one to him or reading it along with him, partly so I know what's in there, but I also think it'd be really fun to just have book discussions, make sure that he knows he has someone he can talk to about books, do like little book club thing, I don't even know. Anyway, I was excited to find them, and so now I just need to be on a lookout for the further ones. The next one, this is one I have never heard of. I think I accidentally got the second book in a series. <laughs> It doesn't say anywhere on it that it's book two or a continuation or whatever. This is Dragon Frigate Wizard Halcyon Blythe by James M. Ward. The reason I think this is probably the second one in a series, there's a little blurb here about midship wizard Halcyon Blythe, which sounds like it would come before Dragon Frigate Wizard, probably. So I have never heard of this author, never heard of this book or this series, but the name is intriguing. The cover looks cool, and as you know, that's the best way to judge a book. <laughs> the blurb on the front says, Horatio Hornblower meets Harry Potter in a tale of magical martial warfare on the high seas. All right. Inside it says, Hogwarts goes to sea. And then it also says his yeoman voyage behind him, Blythe must now accept new responsibilities as he ascends to the rank of Dragon Frigate Wizard Halcyon Blythe. So as cool as this book looks, as intriguing as it sounds, having never heard of it, I might need to look for whatever comes before this or just do what I used to do back in my old days find a cool looking book at a used book sale and just read it regardless of where it is in a series or anything else. <laughs> That's how I've discovered a lot of books that I like. Hornblower style sea adventures mixed with fantasy in this novel of a young man fresh out of the academy and taking his first assignment as a midship wizard on a dragon ship. Don't know what the dragon ships are. I've read different types of stories with different types of dragon ships. Don't know what that means here. The mix is entertaining, a fun adventure, and a promising start to a new series. Oh, that's praise for the book before this. They're making it sound pretty good. Shapeshifters, naval lore, and elemental magic describe this action-packed blend of Horatio Hornblower and Harry Potter. If it doesn't remind me of either one of those books, I'll be disappointed. I only read the first Horatio Hornblower book and it was a long time ago. Recommended wherever nautomaniacs peruse the fantasy shelves. All right. Copyright is 2006, so it's almost as old as the Percy Jackson books. Although if this is the second one, the first one might be older than those. It's always interesting. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know how good it is yet, but it's always interesting to see which books just take off 
and gain popularity versus ones that don't. And because of the year that it came out, that might be why it's being compared so heavily to Harry Potter. Because any fantasy books that come out after Harry Potter that have any kind of magic school or academy or anything, that's how you get people to read it. If you liked this, you'll like this. We shall see. And the last ones I got are the ones that I am the most excited about. Those are three more books in the Temeraire series by Naomi Novik. A used book sale, like the one I went to at our library, can be a little unorganized. All the boxes that the books were in were just under the tables. You can tell they just emptied boxes straight onto the table. The most effort at organization was broad genre groups. And then in a few places they had separated hardbacks from paperbacks. So there was a lot of just hunting. It feels a lot like treasure hunting going to that kind of thing. And I saw Black Powder War, the third in the Temeraire series. I read His Majesty's Dragon very recently, loved it, knew that I would want to acquire the rest of the series at some point, didn't really know when, didn't know if I would order offline, make my way to one of the nearby bookstores. By nearby, I mean at least a 30 minute drive. <laughs> So finding some of these at our local used book sale was pretty exciting. So they had book three, Black Powder War, book four, Empire of Ivory, book five, Victory of Eagles. I love that I found the ones that match the one I already have, the cover art from the same set. I just love these colors. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't find the second book in the series because that's what I need to read next and now it's the one that I'm missing. <laughs> but in looking at Pango Books, which I don't have an account set up yet, but I might need to after doing a little shopping on there. I saw that there is a very cool edition with a white cover instead of the bright green cover that comes on the one that goes with this set, and I thought it looked really cool and would probably look really good sitting amongst the rest of these. So I guess by not finding the second one, I get to now make a decision on which one I really want and just buy the one I want. Possibly the most important thing about that decision is making sure I get one that's the same height, <laughs> right? Because who wants a series of books where one of them stands out as being a different size than the rest? <laughs> but I love that I now have more of the Temeraire series, which was one of my goals for my next book haul video, and here they are. <laughs> book shopping often feels like treasure hunting. So let me know what treasures you have acquired recently. A book that you bought, whether you have read it or not, that you were so excited to acquire. Thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate you guys. And if you haven't yet, head over to my Patreon and vote on the poll that I posted. It's just me being a little indecisive on naming a character and would love to have some help there on what you think sounds good for an animal companion. The description will have a link to my Patreon and my Instagram. And I hope you're enjoying whatever you're reading right now. Bye.